What's up YouTube, this is your boy G, back in another video. Today we're gonna open this uh, package that was sent to me by Kiwi Home. They said this is a PS5 cooler, right? It uh, sounds interesting. I haven't really used any bling bling or any stuff with my PS5. It's even in still the default white color right now. But this is interesting. Shout out to Kiwi Home, uh, by the way, for reaching out and uh, showcasing this product because I, I believe a lot of people will be interested in this dust cover from Kiwi Hope. So it looks like um, they included the true uh, uh, dust cover here. Might as well test that later on. By the way, if uh, you're new to the channel, um, consider subscribing. I upload uh, unboxing, reviews, testing, even tutorials sometimes. You might be into that and it might help you in your purchase decision. So consider subscribing and thank you so much in advance. All right. If you're not going to use your PS5 for, for a long period of times and you don't want it to accumulate any dust inside so you don't need to like clean it regularly, it's a pretty good option. So we'll install this later on. So you will see Kiwi Home here branding, but nothing else, nothing much. Once you put it on your PS5, you're like, again, you're not going to use it. There's actually a bag on both sides where you can throw some cables and whatnot that you might need. Pretty good but let's go ahead and uh, check the start of the show now i can see some dent here from the packaging or from the shipping i hope it did not damage our merchandise itself but in front it's just kiwi home and uh there's a seal here so let's get the, this out of the way so there's just some guide here um that showcase how it looks like all right it looks pretty neat right Underneath, there's a screw. Make sure you check underneath that paper thingy that is covering the entirety of this. Okay, it's quite big. Actually, there's a lot of space. I don't want to say not needed, but it's space in excess of the actual PS5 itself. All right. So there's something here, customer service, 30 day money back guarantee, eight months warranty, you keep pretty good. So this is how it looks like. Now this is an RGB cooling stand for ps5 so pretty fancy i like that it's it comes with a white color here right to complement your uh stock ps5 color i wish they could have uh, done black as well or you know color options for those people that has a uh, black ps5 i already replaced their shell by default it's for digital if you notice but there's a little covering here which you can just um, remove all right so it just snaps like that again for digital edition and now it's ready for the uh, disc version so we can uh, use mine you have kiwi home branding here and then on the side on the other side there's none anymore so i like the branding it's very minimalistic in front it's interesting because um there's a lot of options here you will see a, a fan controller of course to turn it on and then three USB, right? I suppose those are USB 2.0 those, so kind of like hubs, right, for charging um, because they're not blue. And then you do have the control for RGB, right, for the LED. Nothing much into it. Uh, you will see the circuitry underneath, but um, here, the surprise is here. So you see there are wings here, kind of like a boat, but you can pull this out like so and then charge your controller there, which is pretty neat, right? I appreciated that. The only downside, the only thing that I don't like is it's just using USB, which is kind of typical, you know, in charging, uh, they use USB. But you have to invert your controller just to charge there, right? And I don't like it. I don't like it uh, as much, especially right now, uh, all of my controllers, both of my controllers has battery packs like this, and I don't want to to remove that you know put it like so you know instead of just simply installing it like like this right probably that's one gripe that i can see right away that's one con i would appreciate that it's just um easily you know chargeable like this but i understand you know due to the design you will have to um uh, install it like this all right we're gonna test that later on if it's charging or not on the other side you also have another wing here and this is for your discs uh you know for your uh games right for example you have uh you know god of war and or, or guardians of galaxy here you can just simply stand it like so it's actually tight right so it's it's even going to hold it on its own if you notice 
and it's not gonna move anytime soon it's, it's pretty tight it's sure neat right if you have like an entertainment system you can you can definitely showcase all of your games there if you're still a uh, team this right team physical this because i'm like team digital already but i, ha I have a couple of um, this as you can see let me go ahead and um install this set it up uh, put our ps5 on it and uh see it in action i'll be right back as you can see that is my current setup right now it's uh pretty messy you know just like that for for two years now you know ever since i've gotten the uh the ps5 but let me go ahead and uh put that stand and we'll see if it's actually going to be looking better i'll be right back all right so i'm trying to set it up right now and uh, i just don't want to uh, get this out of the way um, a lot of people even uh, me included me are of course thinking that these are basically useless you know the ps5 doesn't really need cooling uh, i can i can tell you that uh, my ps5 is more than two years now and it never needed any cooling but of course i have air conditioning and whatnot but you know primarily you're gonna use this as a stand right like uh, as an aesthetic like rgb things like that but from our unboxing you will see um there's like a circuitry underneath and you do have two fans uh, below and uh, it's pretty well spaced and underneath the ps5 you know you do have the mount for the default base but you have this little inlets right that actually serves as uh you know as some little intake right now of course the ps5 itself has bent um from the back to produce the exhaust and you have the huge vent in front for intake but you can argue that it might help a little bit right it might help because these fans will produce or will pull more air than a default one uh, pushing air here adding some you know some air inside that the ps5 can use you know the, the default fan of ps5 can use so maybe it will help a little bit, but not so much, but that's about it. You're gonna use this primarily as a bling bling, as a stand, right? And I'm gonna show you that in a bit. You know what? <laughs> this cover is awesome. You know, this is something that uh, I did not realize I need, that it's very useful actually, because I rarely use my PS5 right now, you know, because of Steam Deck and, and light stuff. And this is a game changer, right? Look at that. It's very awesome and it has opening on the back where you can just simply you know strap it like that so you don't have to unplug the cables you can you can put it you know with the cables that's the stand itself and let's go ahead and unveil our ps5 just pull it upwards like so look at that it's humongous this stand is uh, pretty nuts i put it like you know uh diagonally right or slanted like that because i wanted to cover the cabling on the back right so messed up there so if you if i put it straight it will expose a lot of stuff on the back i've all i've been always using my ps5 like so so let me turn off the lights here pretty quick i love the rgb on this it looks like it has a light diffuser so the rgb uh, distribution right the light distribution is very very pleasant to the eyes i love it rgb is life right and you can also change a lot of colors in this one so in the front um there is a button for rgb here on this um, side and then here for the fan you're not hearing the fan right now uh because if i uh you know i turn it off you can turn it off by holding the button for the fan now for the rgb you can change it and let me toggle the available lights in this of course there's purple uh there's red Ooh, look at that it looks like an engine or something orange uh red and then you do have this light orange uh, th these are like breathing lights if you notice um they're moving right yellow uh, green and of course the light blue again and then the blue that we have earlier now you can also turn it off by just holding the button if you don't want any rgb or any distraction you can do that you can always do that and then just one press will turn it on again now interesting part is on the left side again there is the uh, button for the fan if you press it it'll turn on the fan right away every like level of the fan has uh, appropriate color for it right or like an assigned color for it so right now it's on blue i don't know if you can hear the fan but it's quite silent right you know you can definitely hear it but it's not as loud as other 
So that's kind of like level 1. If I increase it, it's level 2 now. It's like orange. And then it's gonna go back to blue. Press it again. Alright, it's pretty loud right now. It's red, so it says red. And it's gonna go back to blue. So it looks like um, it has three levels the green, the orange, and then the red. Red being the loudest, right? Now again, you don't need to use the fan. Uh, I might even turn that off like most of the time, but you know, it's very nice to have there. And again, the RGB is where it's at, right? <laughs> I love the RGB, RGB live. All right, so that's pretty much for the, uh, for the light. Let me turn on the lights again. Now this uh, front, these are the buttons that I'm talking about earlier. You also have three USB ports, and again, those are USB 2s only. It's not showing that it's a USB 3, but let's see if it actually works for USB, like a headset. Okay, I have the USB for uh, Arctic 7 here. Let me plug it in. Let's see if it's gonna detect that. It did, <laughs> all right. Wow, pretty good. That's awesome. So you can definitely um, use, of course, your uh, headset already because I have a hub, you know, like a USB hub that I plugged in and it's actually not working. It's not allowing the USB, um, you know, receiver for the headset to be used for some reason, you know, along with other USB resources. But this one looks good and it works good. So that's perfect. Now for the case itself, again, for those games, if you notice, you can pull it out like we tried earlier and you can showcase your games there. Uh, it's pretty good, right? Uh, I don't, I'm not particularly good, you know, fond of it or gonna use it, but it's there. But it's pretty good, right? Because you do have the, um, you do have Sasuke there. But this is what I'm talking about. It will expose your cabling or whatnot, depending on your connections, right? Or your, your setup. But mine, it's gonna expose that. So I'm not going to use it like so. I will slant it like what I have earlier. But on this side, this is the um, charger. So let me put the, um, uh, the, the controllers there and show you how it's charging. Now, these are the uh, chargers, you know, on the side. They'll show green if uh, your controller is fully charged and red if it's still charging. So that's pretty good, but I would not really suggest to use it. One attack of a dog or accidental bump there might result in breaking your USB port. So I would not, um, you know, I recommend to use this. Very tight as well. As you can see, I can even remove it on my one hand. So I uh, might as well use um, chargers like this. So I would rather use this. It's very easy. You can just pull it like that, right? Rather than use that one. But you know, of course, if you don't have this, you have the option to use that. But yeah, that is the Kiwi Home PS5 RGB cooling stand. All right, that's a pretty long name, but it's just basically, again, a cooling stand for PS5. Um, it's just about 2,000 pesos, Philippine pesos, or 1,895, and I will say it's a go, right? I will say it's a go. Um, it's not that expensive, and it's pretty neat, right? You, you know, again, if you're either wanting to elevate your PS5, you know, uh, adding some bling to it, it's pretty cool, right? You can add some stickers, some decals there as well to complement, like, pretty much like uh, what I have here. So if imagine if I added some decals here, you know, it will even look cooler. So, yeah, I'm into it. I like it. But that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, click the like button if you like this video. Comment down below. What are your thoughts regarding this uh, Kiwi Home RGB kit, right? Or RGB stand? Um, if you have any questions, just comment down below. I always check my comments and I will try my best to answer you. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to the channel. I uh, unbox stuff. I do a lot of reviews like this. So, that might help you in your purchase decision. But that's all for today guys thanks so much for watching stay safe and see you on my next one peace